we're back at one of my favorite launch sites that I never fly from, only once. Kind of in a hurry, so I don't have much gas. I didn't have time to get any. And we got this mildly sketchy launch. You can see I'm set up right for that building and hill back there. And I have smoke now on my motor from Oshkosh, so that's gonna be sick. I'm gonna spiral around some balloons probably with smoke on. I'm about ready to go. Like I said, I don't have much time, so I'm gonna get going. All right, to make things simple, I'm putting a new camera angle up top, looking back at the smoke slash hot air balloons. So that'll be neat. Man, if you didn't see the Oshkosh series of videos, you gotta check it out. That was a good freaking time. Oshkosh always has a good time. All right, here's the launch. I'm like right at a hill and a tree and a building and power lines. So I legit have to pull the wing up at an angle and uh, hook left immediately, like take off in a freaking 90 degree turn. So that's fun. Sketchy dude. Hopefully I don't plow into that hill. Just like a butternut squash. Not much room for error there. But that's how you do it. You just gotta send it. Then you just climb out a little bit and it opens up to this beautiful view. All right, so right over this ridge is where the balloon fest is being held. And I see the first balloon being inflated right now. I'm into the wind right now, so that means the balloons are gonna launch and come right over the hill directly at the school I launched from. So that's good. Like I said, I only have a little bit of gas. I've got five liters, which technically is good enough for an hour and 15 minutes. And that's draining the tank. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I'll tell you guys a quick story on the way over. So last year, I did this exact same flight, launched from that same school, and flew around the balloons. And I've done it years prior also. Um, I've even launched, actually I launched two years in a row from that field. Last year, I didn't have time to go there and get through the crowd and set up my gear and everything, so I just made it easy and launched from that school. Anyways, I get over here, I fly around the balloons, have an awesome time, go back, land, and then I get a phone call that they reported me to the FAA. And I'm like, but what did I do? I've done this many years, um, and that year was no different except I launched from a different field. Well, apparently the people in control, uh, they have a waiver for the balloon fest, and they thought the waiver controlled the airspace around the balloon fest. But in reality, there is no NOTAM, there is no TFR. Uh, it's just a balloon fest and the waiver covers the launch site. So they thought I breached their airspace or something. Um, I called up the FAA a few days after once again, they were super, super helpful. They read through all the FARs with me and they're like, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You're totally good. Don't worry about it. So I was like, thanks dude, rock on mate. So hopefully this year there is no problems. I don't know if I want to do a little acro into this field. I think that would be fun. Nice and controlled. Just the way I like it. Dang, that's crazy. So these guys are launching and they're going that way. That guy is going like that way at higher altitude. They were calling for about a 180 degree shift in the wind uh, tonight at some point. Around sunset, something like that. I don't know, I rarely check the forecast. If I look outside and it looks like this, you know I'm gonna send it. All right. Here they come. Mr. Strawberry is the first one down there on a fly around. I'm gonna wait till he gets a little bit higher. Then I'm gonna hook a powered spiral with smoke. Don't tell the guys at Aviator, but I jacked about two gallons of smoke oil. 
<laughs> we get it from the air shows. After that, I'm going to have to source out for some baby oil. All right, let's do a quick barrel roll sesh with smoke, and then I'm going to drop down around Mr. Strawberry. Ready, smoke on. Smoke off. <laughs> Mr. Strawberry. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so my smoke system will run for about a minute and 15 seconds, I think. All right, I've been saving my, my smoke juice oil. I think I'm going to do a quick little wing over barrel roll here. So everyone's going so high. Let's do another puff. Ready and smoke on. She's still burning out excess. I got my button off. She's still going. The wind is so variable. Those guys are going that way. He dropped down. He's skirting down the hill again. <laughs> I still have a plume of smoke there and there. And it goes over there. That's hilarious, dude. I know these two guys right here. I'm thinking I'll do another spiral with the smoke on. I gotta start turning it off sooner because it must load up a little bit and it burns out the excess for like another 20-30 seconds. So if I hit it and then account for that and turn it off early, I should be able to conserve some smoke oil. Wait for it. Smoke on. <laughs> and smoke off. This is the ultimate use for smoke on a paramotor. <laughs> Hopefully the GoPro picks it up, but there's a cloud around that balloon. Well, I've been here for a little while, and their whole launch is really slow. Like, there's still guys that are just getting off the ground. So the middle school is right over here. I really like this area out here to buzz around down low in. So I think I'll do that. That's an epic shot. Let's see if I can get my legs in it. All right, I just found one of the coolest places I flew last year over here. And that's this road that goes between the two cornfields with no power lines. And then there's a driveway right here. You can get deep down in the corn. So I'm pretty sure I lost my external GoPro battery helmet thing in Oshkosh because I just looked for it and I couldn't find it, which means my GoPro is almost dead, which means I'm probably going to land sometime soon just to make sure I get the landing on video and cap the video out nice and proper. All right. Roadway looks clear. No one coming that way. 
no one coming this way. About to foot drag this road. I think I'm downwind. Ooh, sketch, sketch. So uh, this is freshly tar and chipped, I think they call it. There's a bunch of tiny little rocks. And if I foot drag it, it's gonna kick the rocks up into my prop and destroy my beautiful 400 something dollar e-prop. And I don't wanna do that. So no foot drag on the road, but I'll still drop down. All right, let's pop up. And let's go down this driveway. <laughs> Freaking dragon flies everywhere. Oh, one bounced off my ankle. All right, we got power lines at the end of this, so I gotta hop out soon. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy change of perspective? Like, one second it feels like you're just driving down a road and then you jump up like 50 feet. <laughs> Lines are dangerously close to the tops of the corn stalks. All right, freaking rocket ship launch in three, two, one. All right, I think it's about time that I'm gonna start heading back to the park because I know my GoPro is gonna die pretty soon. So I ran that Teespring campaign with the sweet airfoil shirt and I really want to do more and more designs that are paramo paramotor related. All the paramotor shirts that I've seen are either like for events or they're just kind of goofy looking. Like it's hard to represent a paramotor in like a t-shirt graphic image. I want to like by the end of the summer have a few different designs and I've been working on a few like based off of my original photography and stuff. Yeah, there's a cat down there. Yeah, I've got a couple in the works and uh, I also want to do posters because I mean what better way to decorate your wall if you're a paramotor enthusiast than with some paramotor photography. Look forward to that. I'm gonna be working on that when I can. Um, I'm home for a week and a half now, sometime by the end of the summer. That's kind of my goal is to have like a store set up. Stay tuned for more and I'll keep you guys updated as I add things, and new designs. Got a balloon landing in the neighbor's house. Got a couple guys down the street. Maybe some of these guys will hit the school. That'd be kind of fun. Hopefully the wind direction is about the same as before. Goal is to come over this fence and hook a turn right towards the hill. Holding some brakes to drop her down in. Then I'll do a little squiggly S turn deal. Make sure I find my actual kill switch, not my smoke switch. Oh yeah, stretch the legs. Right over the fence. Drop her down. Try not to kill myself on this hill. Can I kite it up the hill? I highly doubt it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm stupid. That was fun. Did you see it, Jacqueline? Did you see my smoke? Yeah. How neat was it? There's a balloon on the house. On the house? Yeah. Like it hit the house? Shit. And then they went. And it went. And then it went. <laughs> Well, that was a fantastic flight. Hot air balloons, smoke. I'm totally digging the smoke system. Like I only ever used it in the show and that's cool and all, but like using it around here is gonna be epic. So look forward to more smoky goodness in the future on the Super Scout Scout Machine version two. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one where Jacqueline and I are gonna go flying tomorrow. Peace out. Whoa.